appreciative. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Anita D. Anita is a spoken word artist and slam poet from San Diego. Uh, she is a National Poetry Slam finalist and has um, won many awards. Through her work, she advocates for mental health and, gen and generational healing. She recently published a book entitled And the Psych Ward Says, depicting her experiences as an involuntary patient in a psychiatric hospital. Anita, go for it. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for having me on here again. Um, I was lucky enough to be at uh, one of the last poetry nights um, and it was amazing. This is just as beautiful. I love that I get to see like some familiar faces even though I haven't been able to meet anybody in person yet. Um, I'm currently in Hawaii so it's around 10 a.m. here so I just my day is just getting started. Um, but before I do my poem this is uh, my book. It's self-published. Um, if you I have a website, anitadpoetry.com, I'll put it in comments afterwards. Um, and I have about 30 copies left before I have to order a new batch. So if you're interested, um, it has this poem I'm about to do, plus a bunch of other poems and stories and journal entries from my hospital uh, stay. So here's the poem. I hope you like it. And the psych ward says, there is no need to worry. This asylum was built to help you. And just like the straps on the stretcher that you rolled in on, we are going to keep you safe and secured. Notice the locked doors and all the cameras perched in the corners like hawks, we will be watching. But this is all for you and your well-being. You are sick, anxious, depressed, a danger to yourself. The state told us to hold you for 72 hours, but if you sign this paper, we can pretend your stay here this weekend is voluntary. Friday morning, you will be woken up by strangers in white coats and clipboards. You will be asked again and again and again about why and how you want to kill yourself. Be honest. Remember, you are only here for three days. So take advantage of the five to 10 minutes you have with the doctor, but understand, he has a list of patients as long as his pay stub. So you won't be receiving any actual therapy sessions while you're here, but we will recommend them as treatment for after we let you out until then. We want you to be comfortable. So sit back, enjoy the plastic furniture and coloring books. We have old radios with no antenna, but the static is still loud enough to drown out the sound of the woman screaming in 2B. That's just Cindy. She just does that sometimes? Well, she didn't always, but she does now. And until we can find the right medication, we are going to keep helping her. Just like we want to keep helping you. If only you let us. It's Monday morning and you haven't even tried the meds yet. You're still lying to us about holding the knife to your arm like your parents haven't already told us everything. Just be honest and let us help you. Did I mention that the state only recognizes the existence of psychiatric patients Monday through Friday? Meaning. The past 48 hours you spent here didn't even count, meaning we still have time for a breakthrough or a breakdown. This is a good thing. This means we still have time to help you. And I can see that you're getting upset, but do not walk away from me with tears streaming and knuckles burned and palms. That type of body language is aggressive and we might have to do something about that. A sedative, maybe diazepam perhaps. I don't think being alone is best for you right now. Maybe you should spend time with the other patients. Get to know how they got here. Listen to them when they tell you, you got lucky getting placed in this psych ward. We are one of the good ones and we want you to stay here. We figure if we keep you long enough, maybe you'll eventually start to fit in. Or maybe if we keep you locked up, you'll eventually start to act out and we will be right here waiting to prescribe you something to label you with a diagnosis we didn't cause your social anxiety we only heightened what was already there we just want to see you reach your full potential as a patient we told you this asylum was built to help you thank y'all so much <laughs> <laughs> 